What's up guys? Bem-vindo a minha nova série se chama Real Life English em que eu vou dar dicas para vocês para falar como um nativo. Essa série é trazida pelo aplicativo Cambly que conecta os alunos com professores nativos de inglês em qualquer minuto do dia quando você tem tempo para fazer as aulas. As aulas são particulares e você faz as aulas pelo video chat. Video chat. Chat. Então, eu fiz mini aulas com meus inscritos esses dias e eu dei dicas de expressões americanas ou expressões em inglês que usamos no dia a dia. Então, vamos lá ver as aulas. Hello. Brian? Uh-huh. Hi. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm waiting here for a long time. Hello. Hey. Hi. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Brian. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine too. Brian, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine. Just wait a minute. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no problem. I was just changing my shirt. Okay. <laughs> And here I go. <sighs> Hello, man. <laughs> How's it going? Oh my God, I'm 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 a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm fine. I wanted to do a little uh, activity. Great. So I have some expressions that I'm going to, uh, they're English, uh, American expressions or English expressions, and I'm going to translate them to Portuguese, and you have to try to guess what they mean. All right, I'm not that good about American English, but yeah, let's give it a try. No, American expressions, no, I, I, I have no idea about this. <laughs> oh, here, so it's, it'll, be, it'll be fun, I promise. Quit cold turkey. Desistir do Peru frio. Mm, is let it go, let something go, <laughs> kind give up. Kind of. This is cheer do Peru frio. Mm. Nostas. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, quit cold turkey. Então, desistir do Peru frio. Oh, man, I've got no idea about that. You know, I've got no idea about this one. Uh, that's uh, it's it is something like um, giving up of something that may get you in trouble. <laughs> Well, yeah, kind of, a little bit, yeah. So let me give you, let me give you an example, okay? Right. I smoked cigarettes for years, ah. and then I cold turkey. All right, that's like um, you just stop doing it because it's dangerous for you. Close. You're getting closer. You're getting closer. So in this one, it's uh, it just means that you when you stop something and then you never did it again. So okay. like if you smoke for years and years and then you just stop and you never smoke again it means you quit cold turkey quit cold turkey all right i'm gonna remember that one <laughs> up in the air acima no ar acima no ar eu vou falar em português porque eu acho que eu não consigo explicar em inglês pode ser é alguém que tá adiantado para frente tipo mais esperto do que eu pensava, alguma coisa assim? É, é mais no sentido, eu vou dar um exemplo, tá, em inglês. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. It's up in the air. Ah, é, tá aberto, tá, eu vou ver o que vai dar. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, if you don't have any plans or you're not sure, you don't know what you're going to do, it's uh, up in the air. Understand. Or you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Sit tight. Senta apertado. I don't know. I don't know. I can't think in the... Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example, okay? Okay. I want you to wait for me. So can you just... Can you sit tight over there while I go to the store? It's something like... Uh, wait me here and I'll be back in a minute. 
Yeah, something something like that. Um, when you're when you're talking to a child or something, you say, "Sit tight, I'm going over here, but I'll be back in a minute." So it's like, like just relax and hang out, and don't, you know, just just relax over there and sit tight. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand. Face okay. the music. Incare a musica. Um, it's like when something's happening in your life. You have, you need to adjust for that, adapt the situation. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, like if you, oh. or or another uh, meaning could be if you do something wrong, then you have to you have to face the music and oh. and deal with the the consequences. Consequences. Of okay. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Driving me up a wall. Me dirigindo para cima da parede. Driving me up a wall. Wow. It's, yeah. <laughs> me dirigindo, me dirigindo para, para cima da parede. I never have listened to this expression before. It's, it's a very American or English one. What does this mean? Well, you have to try to guess. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this one, I'll give you an example, okay? When somebody is chewing, eating their food, and they, they chew very loud, it drives me up a wall. Or um, if when there's a very loud, like there's a neighbor outside my window making a lot of noise, he's driving me up the wall. Oh, he's like made me uh, crazy. Yeah, exactly. Like he's being very annoying and I don't like it. So he's driving oh, me up the wall. Okay. Uh, this one is easy. Keep your chin up. Mantenha seu queixo erguido. I think uh, maybe don't give up and keep going. Yeah, exactly. Oh, good. Twist your arm. Twist torcer, your arm. Torcer seu braço. It's like passar a perna. I'll give you an example. Let's say you don't you don't want to come out to the bar with that with with me and and all of our friends. I'm gonna say, hey, come on, man, it's gonna be really fun. Uh, you're gonna have a great time. I'm gonna try to twist your arm and get you and, and convince you to come come with me. All right. Yeah, I got it now. I've got I've, so, now that you say that. I've got one for you. Which we say okay. Bahia, all right? Can you do that? Yep, absolutely. All right, I'll say in Portuguese, then in English, and then you have to tell me what it means. Okay, here we go. Não vá que é barril. Literally, it would be something like, don't go, that's barrel. Barrel? Yes. Don't go, that's barrel. Uh, whew, I have no idea. <laughs> That, can you give me can you give me a, a hint? Okay. Uh would you like that in English or in Portuguese? Okay. Uh either one. All right. Well, six seconds. That's like um well you shouldn't go to that neighborhood at night because over the, don't because that's quite um don't go that sparrow. Yes. Like it's a, a dangerous place. Exactly, exactly. Uh, <laughs> you can say that not only for places, but any situation that might be uh, dangerous, you can say that, you know. Don't go, that's peril. Esse aqui é o aplicativo. Quando você entra no aplicativo e cria uma conta, você vai ver todos os professores disponíveis aqui. Se você usa o código Brian Roxbury quando você faça sua conta, você vai ganhar 15 minutos para provar e experimentar o aplicativo. Então é isso, gente. Espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo. Não esqueça de me seguir no Facebook e Instagram para saber quando vai rolar o próximo vídeo na série Real Life English no aplicativo Cambly. Então, espero que vocês tenham uma boa semana e tchau, tchau. Um, ok, what is this é one? Cachorro quente. Is, do you have another name for it in Portuguese? Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Burger King. <laughs> and your What's name you? is Brian. It's Brian. 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 Brian Roxbury.
Bryce.